Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to play Windows games on Twister OS. So in the last video I showed how to install Twister OS on the Raspberry Pi 4. So now let's play some games. So first of all I will set my governor to performance. It is best to do that for gaming. So to play Windows games on the Raspberry Pi 4 we need Box86. So box86 emulates x86, so that is the instruction set that normal PCs run on, so PCs that run Windows. So box86 can use wine from x86 to emulate Windows games and also Windows programs. So here I've got Quake 3, it is just the Windows version, I just copied it from my PC onto my USB stick. So now all we need to do is open Wine Desktop. And here we browse to the folder where my Samsung USB stick is. And here is Quake 3. So all we need to do is double click on the executable. It runs really great. Not all Windows games will run great and not all Windows games work, but things will improve. It now uses OpenGL, but in the future we can expect it to use Vulkan and when it will use Vulkan a lot more will work a lot better. So here is some Quake 3 gameplay. Vamos. So the next game that works pretty well is Command and Conquer Renegade. It's a 3D first person shooter, has little to do with the Command and Conquer that we all know, but it is still a great game. I can't stress enough how great it is to be able to play this on the Raspberry Pi. So in the past we were able to emulate consoles and also DOS, but Windows games were out of the picture, now it is really great to be able to play these. This closes the barrier between x86 and ARM. So to the developer of Box86, you do a great job, thank you. So here's Command and Conquer Renegades. Nod was closing in. I've been protecting something special. It's a prototype homing beacon for GDI's new space-based ion cannon. Great for taking out large structures. Once you place the beacon, you have 10 seconds to clear the area. I gotta go see to my men. Good luck.
Havoc, there's a Nod officer directing reinforcements from a guard tower up ahead. Take him out. So you can play with the resolutions a bit to have a fuller screen. I like to see my taskbar so I know what is happening. I want to know how much the CPU is used and how hot it gets. I do have a pretty big heatsink on my Raspberry Pi 4 and I've got a fan above it. And it is overclocked to 2.1 GHz for gaming and 650 for the GPU. A game where all settings need to be set to the minimum to be playable, but it is still a great game is NASCAR Heat. My PlayStation 3 controller also works with it, so that is cool. But the frame rate is rather low. Another awesome game that runs great on it is Commandos 2. I also tried Commandos 1, that didn't work. Commandos 3 ran too slow, Commandos 2 works great. But it is a very hard game, I even couldn't solve the first level. But I'm gonna play it more until I can solve it. We must clear this border post to allow our troops to pass through. If we get rid of the commanding officer, the rest will not be able to offer any resistance. First, we have to eliminate these two without making any noise. I can climb up to the wires and swing along them to cross to the other side. I see a box. We'll probably find some interesting stuff in there. If you get the metal shears, bring them here and I'll cut through that fence and deactivate the mines. On my way. Okay.
idea, I suppose. A game that runs really great on it, what I was very surprised about is MDK2. It's a fantastic game, the first one is also great, I couldn't make that one work, but the second one runs great even at 1080p full screen. Kurt Hectic never wanted to be a hero. He was content with his life and wanted to live out his years in quiet, dignified anonymity. Sadly, it was not to be. Kurt was employed as a janitor for Dr. Fluke Hawkins, eccentric man of science. The messes were large, but the pay was good. So when Hawkins left, Kurt followed. Little did he know what was to come. The doctor had wished for a place away from his detractors, away from those that thought him mad. With janitor in tow, he left the earth, vowing to return only when his genius was proven. The greatest of the doctor's inventions in exile was the six-legged canine, Max. Max was the perfect assistant, and his appreciation of firepower made him a fine watchdog as well. All was peaceful until the invasion. Aliens from a strange dimension attacked the Earth, arriving on energy streams and landing great mine crawlers to destroy everything in their path. The forces of Earth were helpless before the onslaught. Dr. Hawkins had to act. Kurt was outfitted in an untested coil suit and sent to try and disable the machines. He was reluctant, but he had no choice. He was the Earth's last hope. Kurt fought valiantly, driving to the very heart of the invasion. There he challenged the alien leader, a grotesque creature named Gunter Glut. And with Max's aid, Kurt was victorious. As their leader fell, the invasion crumbled and the aliens retreated, their tails between their legs. In their wake, they left the Earth battered, despoiled, even ruined, but not beaten. No, not beaten. Now, with the aliens routed and order restored, our heroes can return to their normal everyday lives. Or can they? Only time will tell. Come toast, Kurt. You've done well. Everything's Jake for sure. Uh, yeah. Well, whatever. Don't sell yourself short. Those aliens never knew what hit them. A major setback for them, I'm certain. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. Yes, it's all over. <sighs> I just knew it. Mine crawler in sector 8675309. 530. Good gravy! That's Edmonton! Well, Kurt, I hope you're up to saving the world one more time, eh? You sure are quick to send me down. You're the man for the job! Max and I will help if we can, but for now it's up to you! Jinkies, I'm so proud!
So I'm gonna leave it at this. I've got a few more games to show, but the video is already getting too long, so there will be a part 2 of this. So again, it is awesome to be able to play Windows games, these are Windows games, not Linux games, true Windows games that run well on the Raspberry Pi 4. This will also be possible on the RK3399. And I hope it will also soon be possible on the Odroid N2+. That is a beast, so that would make a lot more games possible. I can't say more than I love Box86, it is awesome. Thank you to Salvador from the Pylabs, also subscribe to his channel. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, thank you all for watching, see you all later, bye!